This is a tutorial on the basics of using Seaview Mobile. To start the app, tap on the Seaview Mobile icon from your Android device. Tap Sign in with Google to sign into the app with your Gmail account. Tap on Continue. The first thing Seaview Mobile will do is ask you to select data location. Tap OK. First, choose the type of data you wish to view. In this case, I'm choosing sea surface temperature. Then, I'm choosing my region, the United States Pacific Coast, Southern California. Seaview Mobile offers other regions from all around the world. Seaview will display a series of thumbnails for the data type you selected. The thumbnails are displayed chronologically with the most recent data at the top of the list. Scroll through the list to choose your data. I'm going to pick the HiCom cloud-free sea surface temperature. You can tap and hold to load immediately or one tap to download the file and then tap OK. Once it is downloaded, a check mark will show in the top left. Tap on Show Map and click OK. Seaview will now display the sea surface temperature for the Southern California region. To zoom in or out on the map, use two fingers to pinch or pull on the screen. Use one finger to move the location under the crosshair and display the data represented under the crosshair. If you have a tablet, click on the chevron to expand the information panel to reveal all the information for this data layer. The information banner indicates latitude, longitude, sea surface temperature, bathymetry, and the data name and type along with the date. To change the colors or enhancement of the image, click the double arrow on the left side of the screen. Choose Color Settings. Now select which image you would like to change. You can adjust the min and max temperature settings using the slider, or type in specific numbers. You can also change brightness, image transparency, cloud mask transparency, and select a color scheme. Once you are done, tap Preview. It will generate a preview of your changes. If you are happy with the color settings, tap Save. If you wish to adjust the settings further, click Cancel and make any changes you like. Once you are done, tap Preview. Once you are happy with the image enhancement, Click Save. Now the image is enhanced to show the values and ranges you just set. Go ahead and play around with the various color settings to show the data how you like to see it. You could change the image transparency to show more of the bathymetry underneath the sea surface temperature data. Now you can see the bottom topography along with the sea surface temperature pattern. Let's take a look at the Seaview Mobile settings. Tap on the double arrow on the left side of the screen and then tap Settings. You can choose various default measurements for how you prefer to read the data. Tap on the three bar stack icon at the top when you are finished and click Save. Now the data panel at the top shows the changes you made in the settings panel. These changes will remain until you change them back. Also in settings, you can choose permissions for the GPS on your device to display at the top in the data panel. When you have made changes, tap the three bar stack icon at the top when you are finished and tap save. In the top data panel, the information shown indicates the range and bearing of your present location to the locations of the crosshair. We made this video in Colorado, which is why the distance shows so far. To display different types of data, tap on the double arrow on the left side of your screen, followed by Display Data at the top of the menu. Currently, this data is sea surface temperature, sea surface height, chlorophyll, and ocean currents. Let's choose chlorophyll. 
a list of thumbnails for the available chlorophyll data will display. Scroll through the list and choose the data you wish to view. Tap OK to confirm the download. Once downloaded, tap Show Map followed by OK. Notice when you move the map under your crosshairs, the chlorophyll levels in the data panel will show the amount of chlorophyll in milligrams per meter cubed. By default, blue is low chlorophyll levels and yellow is higher chlorophyll levels. Due to cloud cover, there is no data with clouds are present. Instead, the image shows the underlying bathymetry. Now, let's pick sea surface height anomaly. Tap on the double arrow on the left side of your screen, followed by Display Data. Choose Sea Surface Height and click on the data thumbnail you wish to view. Now, let's select currents, which are derived from the sea surface height. The currents are displayed over the top of the sea surface height data. The arrow size and color for currents can be adjusted in color settings. Once you have made your changes, click on Preview and wait for Seaview to finish processing, and click Save or Cancel. The Ocean Current Overlay now shows as the setting you just changed. You can also select other types of currents from other data sources depending on your needs. By clicking on the double arrow on the right, you can turn ocean currents on or off. To load a new region, Tap on the Locations Globe icon in the top right of your screen. Seaview will ask again which type of data and which region you want to view. In this case, we will switch regions to South Africa with the sea surface temperature composite. Seaview Mobile also allows you to save a map for offline use. To do this, load the map you wish to save and tap on the double left arrow on your screen. Tap Save Map and use the given name or rename for your own use. The image is now saved to your device. Let's say you are offline with no cell service and you want to load your saved image again. Tap on the double arrow on the left, tap Load Map. Now tap the thumbnail of the map you saved. Tap OK to display the map. That is the basic functionality of CBU Mobile. All data types work and can be manipulated in the same way. To exit the application, tap on the device icon which closes an app and exit.